During the period known as the Peace of the Sunvelian Ear, we are located 40,000 years in the past. After the war between the Ruminoids and the Sunvelian Empire, the exile of the Ruminoids brought with it the creation of what we know today as humans. After several centuries of technological advances, the emperor of the biggest Homo sapiens nation at that time, Kum Kim Kun Kan Kunshi Kun Kalawanbi Pushtang Gistang Kalawanbi II, of the United Nations of Lemuria, built a large fleet to send all the Neanderthals to the penal colonies on Mars, Ganymede, and Uranus. All this in order to finance their sacred war against the United Mutant Orangutans of Alpha Centauri. The Sacred War was a three-year war between the United Nations of Lemuria, other nations of Earth, and the United Mutant Orangutans of Alpha Centauri. The war ended with a status quo after the intervention of an intergalactic seagull, which destroyed the two great fleets and fed on their energia to continue its journey. <laughs> Taking advantage of this situation, the Neanderthal slaves and those who still remained on Earth rebelled against Homo sapiens in order to eradicate them from the galaxy. The Neanderthal rebellion raged with ferocity, led by an enigmatic leader known as Gungingingang Gungangungungang, the Sage of the Caves. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. During the first years of the war, the Neanderthals took over much of the territory of Homo sapiens. Meanwhile, on Earth, the United Nations of Lemuria began rebuilding the fleet and creating a large destructive weapon. At the same time, the United Nations of Lemuria were at war with the last nations that resisted its rule. The biggest battle occurred in the Seaman system, specifically on the planet Kumin. There, a large Neanderthal army, armed with stolen laser weapons, plasma lances and wild animals faced a small remnant of soldiers who were in the planet's capital. During the battle, the soldiers repelled the Neanderthal attack. However, Gungingingangungangungang did not give up. <laughs> Using ancient writ whales, he summoned creatures from the underworld that baffled Homo sapiens. In the last moments, Lemurian reinforcements arrived to help the soldiers. The Lemurian Emperor arrived at the battle and challenged Gungingingang Gungangungungang to a battle to the death in the newly built great structure known as Oppenheimer, the destroyer of worlds. Finally, Gungingingang Gungangungungang succumbed in combat, but the Neanderthal army made a final attack, destroying the megastructure and killing the Emperor. The war continued and led humanity to deploy the Great Big Mac, which eradicated much of the galaxy's population through obesity after the bloody war. The Great Rebellion of Neanderthals would lead to the collapse of all civilization known until then, leaving only tribes in the galaxy.